Hi guys, this is Chi Chi of Make It With Chi Chi. In this series, we're going to be making a range of keto compliant swallows, which include, but not limited to, bean sprouts, cabbage, broccoli, courgette or zucchini, aubergine, and cauliflower. We're going to be needing a spoon or wooden spoon, anything you have will do, a mixing bowl, a knife, psyllium husk powder, very important, a pot, colander, cling film if you plan to store your food for another day, a hand blender and a chopping board. And today we're going to be making the broccoli swallow. <laughs> I know, I'm the queen of experiments. I love to experiment with food, why not, who doesn't? Well, this is broccoli, it's green, it's fantastic for you, it's a soluble fiber, and it's good, it's great for your metabolism. If you love broccoli, you would love broccoli swallow. So this is it, I'm putting some water in here, ready to boil, I recommend 10 to 15 minutes. I boiled mine for 15 minutes to get it all nice and tender and easy to blend. I'm going at it now with my hand blender, whizzing at this. Um, if, if it's tender enough, it won't take you time. You can actually use a, a food processor, a normal blender, if that's what works for you. But I'm using a hand blender because, like I always say, it makes for quicker washing up. I'm going to be adding two teaspoons of psyllium husk. I didn't go for any more than that simply because I feel um, broccoli is quite a dense um, vegetable, if you like viscous and so that's the reason why I didn't put too much I feel like it could actually do without or just a little bit personally so this is me now cleaning up my bowl and I'm going some more I'm now doing some mixing with my hand blender as you can see the psyllium husk is working it's magic it's all clinging together it's looking very nice and bound together and now I am going to beat this with my spoon Beating it nicely, just to bring it all together African style. <laughs> a swell is not complete without a good spoon beating, trust me. So this is all we're doing. This is actually ready to eat now, if you're going to. Like I always say, I like to make mine ahead of time, just to give the psyllium husk some more time to work its magic. And this is it, like I do, I'd like to store it in serving size, in a cling film piece, twisting all the ends into a ball thank you very much for watching this video if you have enjoyed this give me a thumbs up share this with all your friends family home and abroad and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more african inspired keto dishes and crafts see you next time bye